Hello to YouTube, this is I. So this week I'm going to show you how you can record guitars at half speed in Cubase. So let's start. Whatever you have, please make sure that it does not have tempo changes or this will become really really hard. And second of all, make sure that you export the mix, say drums, as the original sample rate. So if the session is going to be 441, export it as 441. And then make a new session that doesn't have anything in it. So as you can see, we have an empty session here and use double the sample rate. So 88.2 in this case. And then press OK. So let's import a drum loop. And we can see this is 44.1, 24-bit stereo. 24-bit stereo. And then here when it asks, convert to project. Sample rate, yes, please. Do not split audio. And here we have our drum loop. And our tempo is 110, so change the tempo to the correct, whatever it is. Okay, that is our drum loop. So now what we do is we go back to the project setup, which is at project and project setup or shift S by default. So now we change back to sample rate, to the original sample rate, and then we press OK. And then it asks, convert audio files to new rate. You say, no, please. Do you want to keep the audio events at the sample position? Yes, please. All right, so now we see that our loop is now eight bars long and it should play at half speed. And this is exactly what happened. So now what we do is that we add a new audio track, mono, and this will be our guitar. Okay, so let's see that my guitar works. Okay, I have at least some sort of signal, so that's good. So, our goal is that we play our guitar at half time compared to the backing track. So now, since the backing track is at half speed, we can play at normal speed. So, what we do is that we do what we normally do, so that you just use uh, an amp sim or whatever. I actually use a gate and an amp sim. So. So gate just to get rid of the noise because I don't really like it. So this amp sim can be anything because you will not be exporting the amp sim. You will be only exporting the DI track. So you have to uh, reamp or use amp sims with whatever you are going to use. So for example, now my sound is like this and it will have to do for this demonstration. So now what we do is to turn on the click and the pre-roll which is two bar count off. So we will play with the backing track. So we have our session at 44.1. So we are recording at 44.1, not 88.2. So make sure that you change that. If you don't see the status line, you can make sure that you have it as 44.1 and 24 bit. All right, so let's start. Okay, that is our guitar. So let's listen to it at the double speed. So now we change it to 88.2 on the project setup. So shift S or project and project setup. And then we press OK. And then it asks, convert audio files to new rate. We say, no, please don't. And do you want to keep audio events at the sample position? Yes, please. So if you have several takes, like 10 tracks of guitars and like started recording here, First, what you need to do is that you need to consolidate your audio. So if you have splices here and here and here, and 
you actually have to have something at the beginning of the session so that they all start the same position. So select them all and then audio bounce selection so that they all start at the same position. Anyway, let's back off a few steps. Now let's listen to how our guitar sounds. As you noticed, the guitars will be an octave higher than what you actually played. So if you are going to play a solo or something like that, that's fine. But if you want to play something that's gonna be on the lowest string, say on a six string guitar, you have to play it an octave lower. So if you are not playing on a seven or eight string guitar that you can do on an octave lower than the intended, well, then you just have to man up and play the guitars at the normal speed, sorry. No way around that. But if it's something that you can play that's going to be intended to be played an octave higher, that's cool, play it like that. So the next step is that we select the area. So we select it and press P. So it's the transport located as the selection if you have some other key for P, but that's the default. So next what we select is says file export audio mix down or I have a keyboard shortcut for it myself. So now we don't want to export the amp sim. So we turn it off and we don't want to export the drums. We only want to export the guitars. But if you have several guitars, say let's, these, say, let's say that these two are our guitar tracks. So we select the channel batch export and we select the tracks that we want to export. But since we only have one guitar that we want to export, and remember we are now at 882 session, but we want to export this as WAV file, 24 bit and 441k, which was our original. Then we select here, guitar faster. So this is the or whatever name you are going to give, and you are going to export this to the original session be it recording session or mixing session. And then you import it there. So first, but remember, since this is mono DI, select the mono mix down. And next you click export. And then the file is done. So now we, so now we have the file here. Okay, and then you export that to your original session, and then if you don't like it, then you just play it at the original speed like a man. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so. I make new videos every week. And if you found this tutorial confusing, thanks. Good. Please don't do it. And thank you for watching, and make good music.